everybody, welcome back to Running Gun. So, I had a pretty busy week last week, and the week before that, and the week before that. But, um, got the really awesome opportunity to fly in a couple different aircraft. One of them being a UH-1N Iroquois, which is also known as a Huey, the Vietnam era helicopter. Really awesome. So I figured what better than to talk about helicopters this week and photographing helicopters. So this week I'm going to share with you episode 5, my secret to photographing helicopters. Now helicopters are interesting. They're not quite moving as fast as a jet, always, um, but they do have rotors on top that are moving extremely fast. So if you turn up your shutter speed as high as you can to capture the movement of the helicopter to make sure it's extremely crisp and no motion blur, you're also stopping the rotors at a five hundredth, a thousandth of a second. You're freezing that motion of the aircraft and the rotors. And when you freeze the rotors, just like the propellers of a plane, they're stopped. And that takes away from that whole motion, that, that element of motion that's in your shot. And that's crucial, I think, because a helicopter with completely frozen rotors looks like it's just kind of chilling up there in the sky, just hanging out and not doing anything. And it looks like the helicopter's kind of suspended midair. So how do you mitigate that? Well, this is my secret. Not necessarily a secret, it's just a skill that you're going to have to learn, and you have to try it and do it over and over again, and it's all in your shutter speed. It's going to be shooting helicopters at a 30th, a 60th, or a hundredth of a second, I never, ever, ever, I lied, I never try to go above a two hundredth of a second ever when shooting helicopters. Even the opportunity I had when I was in a helicopter photographing another helicopter, try not to go above a two hundredth of a second. Because when your helicopter's moving and you're shooting at a thirtieth of a second, yeah, you might get a blurry helicopter. So that's why you take uh, some of the tips and tricks I taught you guys in the episode about shooting motion and getting better action shots and you pan with your helicopter so now you're getting a nice crisp aircraft you're getting the blurry rotors that are moving at hundreds and hundreds of times uh, revolutions per minute and you're getting the blurry background with your crisp helicopter so you're getting a bunch of different motion compounded and you're getting an awesome looking image so pan with the aircraft and that's going to let you be able to shoot at a 30th of a second, sometimes it depends on your lens, a 60th of a second, a 100th of a second. But I try to never go above a 200th. That's when you start getting those um, like really sharp rotors. Not necessarily sharp, but you're cutting down on that motion blur. And you look like you have just an aircraft kind of sitting up there in the sky. And it looks weird. So I wanted to make this video super short. Super simple, something that you can take out right now if you have helicopters to photograph. And um, that's it, that's my secret. And that's what I've been practicing for years and years and years to be able to get those crisp helicopter shots of the crisp, clean, sharp body of the helicopter um, and the whirling blades so you get that effect of motion and you just get this heightened sense of action going on in your shot. So. Keeping it short, that's it. Get out and go shoot, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you guys have seen. I'll see you guys next week.